I'm Brady Kirkpatrick, Program Director for Wyoming Public Radio, and I'm very thankful to be living in and working in the great state of Wyoming. I enjoy the um, small town with the long streets. Uh, I'm also very thankful for Wyoming Public Radio members. You're very generous, you're very loyal. Uh, you're an intelligent group, and we're always glad to hear what you like, what you don't like, and uh, how we can improve. We certainly welcome your story suggestions and uh, your music suggestions. You're knowledgeable, and uh, receiving your input certainly helps us serve you better and uh, makes us sound better. I'm uh, very grateful that the support we receive from you uh, inspires Wyoming Public Radio to uh, keep you well informed, entertained, and uh, hopefully on occasion enlightened. Thanks, y'all. When I think of Wyoming Public Radio listeners, I think of people that are really involved in their radio, and that's pretty cool. There's not a lot of radio that really gets the listener involved as much as Wyoming Public Radio. Morning Music, we get so many requests for songs that I don't even remember anymore. And it's just kind of great to see the li listeners interact with us and really be a part of the Wyoming Public Radio family. Traveling around the state, I love to meet people who are big Wyoming Public Radio fans. People in teeny tiny towns who appreciate the stories that I write. So I just want to thank you so much, wherever you are, for tuning in and caring about public radio. Wyoming is a very lucky state to have listeners like you. That's why I'm thankful this Thanksgiving. My name is Lee Patterson, and I'm a reporter here at Wyoming Public Radio with a journalism startup called Inside Energy, and we basically cover energy issues in the Rocky Mountain West. So when I'm traveling around reporting on coal, oil, gas, renewables, you name it, I meet all sorts of people. And sometimes I'll introduce myself and the person will say, you work for public radio? I love Wyoming Public Radio. And those moments really make me feel good. It makes um, our hard work feel impactful and meaningful. So um, it's really because of our listeners that we do what we do. I'm Micah Schweitzer, I'm the Cultural Affairs Director at Wyoming Public Radio, and I'd like to pose a hypothetical question. If a radio plays in a forest, and there's no one there to hear it, does it make a sound? And I would say no, because without listeners, there is no public radio. So thanks for listening.